Hello all of you amazing people, my name is Sir Detergent and today we are going to be looking at four of creatives, best biomes, and how to make them. They are plains, pine, swamp, and finally savannah. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Little PS, I want to start making a lot more content for you, but I really don't know what to make. So if you guys can leave some suggestions in the comments or I made a community post like a few days ago for it, um, it would help out a lot. Uh, yeah, just give me your, uh, you know, suggestions. Uh, let's see some biomes. Okay, so first thing you want to do for the planes is just make a, uh, a nice, a nice layout, you know, just just some nice terrain and then you want to get out your color picker trees right and for planes you don't want it to be really dense right it's it's in the name it's plain so you kind of just want to have just just a few trees So, I would change the tree color, but I'm very lazy. So, next what you want to do, you can resize this up a little bit, it's still a nice texture. And you just want to start spamming this all around. Just like that, and then you can just copy and paste it at that point. Bam. Bam. So, I'm not going to do any more because, as I said, I'm lazy. But, um, if you're making planes, I think that a really nice way to just blend it together and still make it different from just your normal grass terrain is adding the tall grass. And it kind of helps add some, some other... So, some some stuff to an otherwise extremely plain biome. So you've got that. There we go. And then last thing you add is just some rock. You can use the um, the variant rock from chapter two. Me personally, I am going to use some modular. Um, me, I, I don't like the look of the mossy. I think you should only use it for like overgrown stuff. So I'm just gonna throw in some rocks here. And, uh, well, what was that? Well, little glitch. And, uh, there we go. There is your planes biome let us go on to the next one all right so the next biome we're gonna make is pines now pines you know i typically i typically think you're gonna find pines in like mountains and like you know yeah you know what i mean so i think 
pine biomes are a good uh, place to use the mossy modular. And of course, you can't have a pine biome without pine trees. So let's grab a few of those. I don't like this pine tree. I think it's kind of like goofy looking. I don't know if that's just me, but that's what I think. Um, so we're we're gonna get that, and then uh yeah. So for this, I'm just gonna copy the same terrain, cause uh yeah, this video might seem a little, you know, half-ass, but. I'm trying to stick to my extremely vigorous upload schedule. So, you know, gotta get this one out quick. Who doesn't like a few hard slopes? I'm sorry. So, basically, with pines, what you want to do, you want to make it dense, but not too dense, you know? T too dense is bad. Not dense enough is also bad. So you gotta find the perfect medium, you know? Um, I like doing bundles of three, maybe four, if you're feeling up to it. Uh, what I'm just now realizing is that I didn't copy the grass for some reason. Uh, I'm the smartest man alive. Alright, so, back to placing pine trees. We're, we're, we're gonna do this and um... We're gonna place the rest of these pines in a cool way. So, I think that it, a good way to place pines is incorporated into your rock work. So... For example, I am making an extremely fast and pretty garbage rock structure with modular right now. And then you kind of want to place it embedded around, and then you want to place it like in within the rock do you feel me do you feel me uh kind of like kind of like that except not so symmetrical um and then uh grass isn't floating what are you talking about let's get some bigger uh, rock stuff in here.
Um, there's the basics of the biome. I think if you want to, you can add um, little mini pines around, like not in clusters. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Just like that. Um, another thing I like to do, I think the, I like to put this piece in my pine. I think it kind of just complements the color of the needles with the ground. And I think it just looks pretty nice. So I'm going to put some of this around. So there, um, this is how I recommend making pine biomes in your maps. Um, like I said, with all of these biomes, I am rushing these extremely quickly, and you would want to put a lot more thought and detail into stuff, but I'm just trying to give you guys some, like, bare bones ideas on, like, how to actually construct the the basics of the biomes obviously go into a lot more detail with your stuff or as much detail as you want but uh just to give you guys a feel of how to make it there's your pine biome okay so next up on the list you guys might remember this one it is my swamps and i still haven't seen swamps done like this before um, I haven't made these in a very long time, so to be honest, I might forget how to make them. But, uh, you want to get these. You want to get these pieces, especially this one. This one, this one makes it. This one makes the biome. Very nice biome. Um, I want to size this up a good bit. Oh, right. Size this up till it's, uh, till it's flush. Flush with the, with the... See how it's like light blue now? You wanna you wanna size it up till it's like that. And then we're gonna go ahead make a half moon with those two pieces. Where did the there you are? Um we're gonna take this piece right here. We're gonna rotate it. Size it up to match with this. right there and then we're gonna take this adjust the width and do you want to stretch it to where the corner of this and that corner right there match up just like that see you see that see how they're nice and flush and then finally what you want to do I'm gonna grab this piece rotate it just like this let's take up the height to match with everything take the width to match with everything take the depth to match with this big piece and there is a nice custom swamp island um, I'm gonna make one more here and this one is just going to be really basic, just a standard circle. Just like that. Um, now, you really can't have a swamp without water, so we are going to get the water device. Okay, so to make this feel a little bit more like swampy because that is not swamp water as you can tell we're going to come to this nature gallery and we are going to grab this piece right here now this piece that is in fact not the piece let me uh grab this 
this one this uh this very suspicious looking tile you want to get this and let's size it up just like that there you don't want to place it directly on it right because that looks goofy you wanna you wanna set it on grid stop 32 and place it just above the water rise so still still acts like water but you can swim in it I want to get this, uh, this, this oil looking piece, right? Put that on a grid snub. Now, this does cost more memory, so don't do it if you don't have to. But, it does look quite nice having that oil pattern down in there. Because, without, with, it looks incredibly swampy pretty nasty and I think it kind of just brings the whole thing together you know like two peas in a pod there we go uh there's your swamp water with some lines because the textures didn't want to work with me today and then you're going to get out your swamp tree obviously place one right there uh actually we're going to place one right there and then we're going to place one right there right on this island we're only going to have one we're going to go back into here we're going to grab our uh our, our piece right here, our rock, place a few of those, you know? Who doesn't like a few rocks? We're gonna go ahead and uh, place one in the water. Just like that. Joke's on you, we're placing two in the water. Just like that. Uh, this big one, you know what we're gonna do place on a tree in it because why not you know uh go back in here we want to get that 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 and finally we want to get that nice pop of color is these birch trees birch trees are very nice they're, they're very nice uh it, it's a nice pop of color these, um, oh no, I think they kind of just look cool, so I put them in here, uh, but I'm actually going to get rid of them, because I don't like it, there we go, gotta make it feel dense, there we go, and then we're just going to put some of these corn looking, looking pieces all around the stuff that we make, including the shorelines.
I'm gonna add some more corn looking stuff right there. But yeah, that's basically just a really quickly thrown together swamp. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. I, it, it's not really, um, it doesn't really work unless you do completely flat terrain. And nobody likes that. Uh, so swamps are kind of impossible to do in mini BRs. But if you want to make something like this for an adventure map where you can put even more detail in it because you don't have to really worry about memory I think this can be one of the coolest biomes um that's it for the swamp though let's move on to our final biome yo 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 what is popping um this is detergent while he's editing and uh I lost all the footage I had for the swamp biome so what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh i'm gonna load up fortnite and re-record it for you guys but not really because i'm just gonna show off like the basic stuff and then show you what i made originally i'm really sorry about this i think the footage got corrupted or something i don't know how this shit works I will see you in a minute though. Yo, 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 what is, uh, what's popping? This is future detergent here. I made this like two days ago. Uh, back to show you the savanna. Um, this is my way that I do the savanna. Um, this is my personal favorite. I know a lot of people do it, uh, differently, but, um, like, empire he 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 does like grass patches all over i uh, i don't know if i remember right i don't think he has this wood in his um he used caddis bone pieces instead of these but uh this is the way i do it i like to put the grass mainly around the trees and then use these pieces to uh soften it until you know it's just the dirt um one thing that i haven't seen put into a savannah or these i really like putting these in it gives it the whole barren aesthetic it it elevates that aesthetic um now the one technique that you need to do is so this is the average size of the tree right let's let's blow it up a little bit so this is how the tree usually is for a savanna to make it look like, you know, a savanna tree. You want to take the height and you want to take it down a good bit. I would say about like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit less. There you go. And then you want to take the width a little bit, what depth a little bit, take and then put it on all and take it up a little bit. And that right there, a little tweaking, that is how I make, that, that's how you make a savannah tree. Um, if you don't edit the tree and you just place these, it doesn't look like a savannah. Um, it, it looks pretty bad. Gotta make sure you do this. Um, that's really the only thing I had to show with the savannah in terms of technique. Uh... The way I do it, like I said, put a big patch of grass right there and then use these pieces to fade it out. Um, I only put grass around the trees, everything else mud. Um, in the wood pieces, I like to put shrunk down trees into them to kind of make them look like just messed up bushes. I just think it looks nice. Um, more materials for people if it's a mini BR2 and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh if you liked it make sure to hit that subscribe button and maybe like the video uh the main reason my upload schedule is incredible is uh i really don't know what tutorials to make for you guys so if you could help me out put some suggestions in the comments that would help a lot 
But that is it for me and TTV Empire. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, if you're wondering why Empire was in my map, I was planning on him having a segment in it, but it, uh, in fact, didn't record his audio, so he's kind of just standing there looking at a better Savannah than his. So, sadly, you guys couldn't hear what he had to say, um, but uh, this is the end of the video, as I said, uh, bye.